Welcome to 49ers News Today. We've got an exciting update for you. Hit subscribe now so you don't miss out. In an uncommonly assertive move, the 49ers proposed a substantial salary reduction to Arik Armstead, who declined and requested his release to explore free agency. The 49ers granted his release, resulting in a savings of $2.2 million against the cap. Anticipated as a post-June 1 release, the Niners plan to cut Armstead to distribute the $26 million dead cap hit across multiple seasons. PFN Insider discloses that negotiations with Kyle Juszczyk for a pay cut are ongoing, with no agreement reached. Armstead's situation adds a foreboding tone to these talks. For the first time in his tenure, Kyle Shanahan, the genuine GM of the team, is taking a firm stance with older, expensive veterans, urging them to accept a substantial pay cut or face release. Meanwhile, the NFL free agency kicks off today with the legal tampering period. Rumors circulate that the Niners are in the market for edge rushers. Edge. According to Mike Silver, the probable targets for the 49ers are Danielle Hunter from Minnesota, Jonathan Greenard from Houston, and Leonard Floyd from Buffalo. Hunter, at 29, led the group with 16.5 sacks. Greenard, 26, recorded 12.5 sacks, and the 31-year-old Floyd had 10.5. Greenard is also recognized for his sturdy edge-setting abilities, ranking in the top 10 at defensive end in both run defense and pass rush win rate. With Jacksonville tagging Josh Allen, Hunter becomes the second-ranked edge in free agency, trailing behind Carolina's Brian Burns. Winning a bidding war against teams with more cap room may prove challenging for the Niners. While they can tout title contention, so can Detroit. The 49ers are also monitoring the Chargers, who might release or trade Joey Bosa and Khalil Mack. Bosa has struggled with injuries, while the 33-year-old Mack continues to shine with 17 sacks this year. A Chargers reporter suggests that a move to the Niners for Bosa is conceivable. Defensive tackle. Following the signings of Chris Jones and Justin Madubuiki, the premier interior defensive lineman on the market is Christian Wilkins from Miami. Detroit, Minnesota, Houston, and Cleveland are reportedly the leading suitors. Rumors suggest Denver is contemplating the release of former 49er DJ Jones. If this happens, the Niners should express interest, as Jones would address a primary need in stopping the run. Jones has a 2024 base salary of $9.5 million, and the extent of the Niners' willingness to spend remains uncertain. While the draft offers promising talent, Jones is a known commodity, especially in this defensive scheme. Linebacker. Dre Greenlaw's injury unexpectedly elevates linebacker to a priority. Although the Niners drafted Jalen Graham and Dee Winters last year, young linebackers across the league typically require a three-year learning curve or more before gaining significant playing time. Hence, the Niners urgently need a plug-and-play veteran. Fortunately, there is a solid group of affordable free agents available. Some hope the 49ers bring back Aziz al Shair, but he expresses a preference for remaining in Tennessee or rejoining Demeco Ryans in Houston. The Niners are unlikely to have the necessary cap space to compete for al Shair, now a top 10 linebacker statistically. The Niners are rumored to be interested in Tampa Bay linebacker Levante David. Despite being 34, David had a commendable year leading the Bucks in tackles with 134, along with 4.5 sacks and 5 passes defended. Other free agents include Houston's Blake Cashman, the league's premier pass coverage linebacker, and Kansas City's Drew Tranquil, who performed well in the playoffs. However, both are seeking long-term deals, and the Niners prefer a one-year investment, explaining the interest in David. The Niners have identified promising draft fits for their linebacker scheme, engaging in discussions with North Carolina's Cedric Gray. However, after a comp pick moved from the third to the fourth round, Gray might now be out of reach. Additionally, they have Graham and Winters in the development pipeline. Defensive back. Cleveland is exploring the possibility of trading 23-year-old defensive back Greg Newsom, a 6-0-192 first-round pick in 2021. The Niners are reportedly one of several interested teams. Acquiring a player of Newsom's caliber and age would likely require a two-end-round pick. Newsom, with two interceptions, including a pick six this year, and 34 solo tackles with four tackles for loss in 14 games, presents an intriguing option. His completion percentage against was 56.7%, and his missed tackle rate was 16.9%. 
the Niners' evaluation revolves around their draft plans. They seek an outside cover corner adept at playing the run and blitzing, qualities not embodied by Newsom but found in Missouri's Ennis Rakestraw Jr. or Iowa's Cooper DeGene in the late first round as the best run defenders. Alabama's Kool-Aid McKinstry excels in coverage, and Notre Dame's Cam Hart is a cover-run D player in the third round. Newsom represents better value than the 63rd pick in this draft, but if the Niners plan on selecting a defensive back in the first three rounds, they may pass. Offensive line. An acute need, but the Niners are reluctant to spend on the offensive line in free agency unless it's relatively inexpensive.